Hey guys, it's Fluffy Says here, and welcome back to another video for you guys today. Today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the new update that just came to Beat Saber. This new update is really cool and has a brand new song pack for you guys to buy and play. But with all new updates, it's not just the song pack that comes to Beat Saber, it's also bug fixes and other niche little things that the Beat Saber devs implemented into this update. Because all of these things have been implemented, once again, mods are no longer working. Mods for the Quest and the Steam and Oculus Rift versions neither are working. We're going to talk about why and when you might be able to mod your headset once again. Timestamps are on screen for whether or not you are using a headset that is PC based or using the Quest. So first off, we're going to start with the quest. How the quest works with mods is you install this client called BMBF. BMBF is great, it's amazing, and it allows you to get custom songs as well as install other mods onto your Oculus Quest for Beat Saber. Once a new update is released, tweaks and stuff come out for the update that causes BMBF not to be able to be installed. This is a problem because then you can no longer get songs or mods for Beat Saber. So now that we discussed how BMBF works, let's talk about what happens in the new update with BMBF. So if you've already logged onto your headset today, you will see that when you try and open up Beat Saber, it'll ask you if you would like to update. You can either ignore that and just head into the game. You won't be able to access the song packs, but you'll be able to play. Or you can try and click install update. If you try and click install update, you'll see that nothing happens. This is very common and happens every single time you want to update Beat Saber if you have BMBF installed. To update Beat Saber, all you have to do is plug in your headset, go into side quest, and find my apps. Then you want to go up to BMBF, click the little cog next to it, and click back up data. You want to do this that way when you get your custom songs, your custom songs will have all the data that you had before and you won't have to go and re-download all of your custom songs. This will not save your Beat Saber data, sadly, all the OST songs, your data will be erased, but you can go and save the Beat Saber file. In my opinion, it personally takes too long and I don't really care about OST, but yes, you can do the same thing with the OST stuff if you go and back up your Beat Saber, just do the same thing that you do with BMBF. Once you've done this, uninstall BMBF and uninstall Beat Saber from SideQuest. Then you can head back into your headset and install Beat Saber once again. This time it'll be on the latest update. Before you do this though, I would like to say that mods will not work probably for the next week if you update your Beat Saber. The reason for this is the newest version of BMBF needs to be developed by the BMBF devs and then released to the public. For this to happen normally takes about a week and so you may not have custom songs for about a week if you decide to update. So I recommend just not updating until the latest version of BMBF is released. I will be making a video on that so make sure you stay tuned when the latest version of BMBF is released and I will teach you guys how to get your custom songs back. But without further ado, let's now head on to the Steam and Oculus Rift versions of Beat Saber. Sadly, Mod Assistant is also broken. This means any PC Beat Saber will be modless. This means no custom songs for Beat Saber and no custom mods. Luckily, most PC mods do carry over from update to update. Uh, this has been seen in the past, but sadly, it still will take some time for the people who run Mod Assistant to take the mods, look over them, see which ones work, and put them into Mod Assistant again for you to add to your headset. If you're on Steam, this I don't have the Oculus Rift version, but on Steam, Beat Saber update automatically for me. It should do the same for you guys as well. And if you are on the Oculus Rift version, you should still have no problems updating Beat Saber. You just won't have any of your custom mods. With that being said, let's talk about some time frames here. Time frames for what we think everything will be released by. I would give it about a week. Give it about a week to see what you got. You'll probably have your custom songs back within a week. Some of your custom mods might not be there yet just because they might need to be recoded 
just because of the fact that there might have been a huge change in Beat Saber that caused them to break. So I would give it about a week before you get your custom songs back. And for custom mods, I would give it about a month to get all of your custom mods. If you would like a tutorial once the new version of BNBF comes out or once Mod Assistant gets fixed, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I will be posting them as soon as I can figure it out and get a video up on it. So yeah, if you enjoyed and this helped you, make sure you leave a like down below and I will see you on the next one. Peace out everybody. Bye.